Hey everyone, welcome, I'm Ricardo, and tonight I'm going to be taking you with me to dinner at the Four Seasons Hotel in St. Petersburg. It's at the Percorso Italian restaurant. I was going to go with a friend, but she had to cancel, so unfortunately it's just me, which makes it a little bit uh, awkward. But uh, yeah, we have to go. I'm going to take my camera, take some pictures of the hotel outside and everything. So yeah, let's go. Most of the videos I make for the vlog will be about daily life and ordinary experiences, but today we have something special. We are on our way to the Four Seasons Lion Palace Hotel. The plan is to have the full tasting menu at Percorso, the Italian restaurant. Then we will take a walk around the hotel to show you the scenery and where it's located. And finally, we will try a few cocktails at the Xander Bar. The meal begins with some fresh baked bread with tomato, oregano, and olive oil. Up next, we have the tartare di tono. This is a yellowfin tuna dish. I had a great waitress who explained each dish, but there is copyrighted music playing over it a little bit loudly, so I'll continue narrating. It starts as crudi, which means no dressing or marinade. It also has artichoke and freshly ground pistachios. The taste and the textures were wonderful, and the sauce on the side was perfect. So I actually made a rookie mistake and forgot what this dish is. I didn't take a picture of the menu. So I'll go back and I'll find out what it was, and I'll post that on my Instagram. It was really good, and up next we have spinach and ricotta cheese ravioli. It also has fresh tomato and basil. Then I always like being able to see into the kitchen and the chefs at work. Here's my table with a view of St. Isaac's Cathedral. Then I had the steak with Brussels sprouts. I had to choose between the steak or the seafood dish. I am allergic to shrimp and lobster, so I went for the steak. I had it medium. Next time, I'll probably have it medium rare. So before dessert comes, I am going to have a cup of tea, but I am really looking forward to this dessert that's included with the tasting menu. It is a tiramisu by a French pastry chef, Nicolas Lambert. And it is actually supposed to be one of the best tiramisus in the world. So now I'm gonna have a taste, tell you how it is. So after a few bites, I can definitely say that this is the best tiramisu that I've ever tasted. So I wouldn't be surprised if it is among the top tiramisus in the world. This one was really good. So to end the dinner, I am going to have a lemon sorbet with a shot of vodka and some seco. So that's the end of the tasting menu here at Percorso. I really enjoyed it, and if I had to give it a rating, I would give it a 10 out of 10. I've had a lot of tasting menus around the world, so I guess I could compare it to some of the others that I've had. When it comes to price, this was actually the most expensive meal I've had in Russia so far at around $80, but compared to other tasting menus, it is still about half the price. For example, the tasting menu at John George's at the Four Seasons in Philadelphia was $140 when I went there. So this right here is the Tea Room, which is another restaurant that's available during the day, starting from the morning. And let me know if you think I should come have breakfast here. I can record it and we can explore it together. Now, let's head through the hotel, so to the lobby. So as we're making our way towards the lobby, you can definitely see why this place is called the Lion Palace. It is absolutely stunning. Um, I love this empire architecture for the insides of buildings. So now we're gonna go up these really impressive stairs towards the rooms. I really love the Roman theme here with the fasces and shields and swords.
So now we're back by the main entrance and I wanted to show you guys this store area. So this first store is called La Petite Opera and it looks like it's full of really expensive art. Should be worth checking out another day. And then if you need clothes while you're here, you can get some really fancy looking quality Italian clothes. We're back outside, but we'll be back inside in just a little bit. I wanted to give you guys a view from the outside of the hotel and show you where it's located because it is located next to St. Isaac's Cathedral. Now we've come into Xander Bar and I'm gonna take a look through the cocktail menu and pick two cocktails to have. First one is gonna be this one, the Bridges Martini. Beluga Noble Vodka, Lychee, Lime and Rose. A little bit of egg white, a little bit of sugar and lime. We take all the ingredients together and we garnish cocktail with a little bit of power bar. So, my first cocktail was amazing. The second one here is to be or not to be, that's what it's called. And it's made of Olmeca Altos Tequila, Bee Wax Raspberry, Beluga Hunting Berry, Grapefruit and Honey. And it was absolutely delicious. So it's time to head home to my apartment. I want to thank the Four Seasons St. Petersburg for a great evening. The food and drinks were fantastic, so I'll definitely be back with my friends pretty soon. If you guys like content like this, let me know. I'd be happy to show you guys the higher end side of St. Petersburg, as well as the day-to-day -day stuff. Living here in Russia is quite cheap for foreigners, uh, but you can still find these experiences at five-star hotels and whatnot. So I can show you guys that stuff as well. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.